So, this Lord of the Rings review is all over the place. It's outside, it's inside, and this San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from Diamond Select arrived today for me, or tomorrow, depending on when you watch this video or whenever. So, let's unbox it and talk about it. Let's just get right into it. Beautiful packaging. It kind of reminds me of the old DVDs that came out. Remember those things? DVDs? But as you can see, it's technically labeled a PX exclusive, but it's got this nice slip cover on it. And these ribbons, you can't see the other side. It was limited to 4,000. Like I said, these have just started to ship. And once we reveal what's inside, once I tie through the knot that I created, you see a translucent Frodo and Gollum 2 pack here. So let's dive in and take it outside. Starting first with Gollum, as you can see, it looks beautiful. I mean, I put him in this outdoor setting to have some fun. I mean, it's pretty cool, right? I mean, even though I got some weird stares from people walking through the park, but he looks beautiful as a figure and I'm gonna dive a lot more in depth with him. This is just a quick summary, just to add some prettiness to the review. And then of course we got Frodo here in his translucent glory. Some people love translucent figures, some people hate them. I don't know where I stand with them. But he looks pretty cool, right? Can't wait to see the colorized version. Let's go ahead and break down articulation. As you can see, the head moves all the way around, up and down, left and right. Uh, it goes down a lot more than up. As far as the body concerns, we just have upper body movement. It goes in and out like so, rotates side to side. In terms of the arms, they do go out that far. We got a swivel and hinge at the elbow there, and it goes all around. Swivel and hinge at the hand like so moving on from there we got the legs they do go out that far they do kick forwards they do go back and they do rotate up there at the ball pegs and then a single bend with swivel action going on and then a foot that goes down and up and rotates or rocks side to side if you will now in terms of frodo it is a translucent figure so i'm going to be a lot more careful with it it does go side to side and rotate up and down as you can see no movement really at the body it's just kind of there i'm not going to try to force it the arms go up they go down in and out swivel and hinge at the elbow and swivel and hinge at the uh, wrist as well and then in terms of the lower body you want to be careful with the sword as to not break it but you got rotation you got thigh cut single bend at the knee and then you got up and down and rocking rotation at the foot. Not too shabby. Let's take it back outside. This head sculpt's really, really beautiful. I definitely dig it a lot. Those eyes, those creepy yet subtle eyes, they look wonderful. Now, ah, look at that head. That head's just, ooh, who could love that head? Ugh. Looks really cool. Diamond Select did a really good job on the paint on this guy. And then in terms of the body, as you can see, very evil looking. I don't know. I mean, as you can see, the rings really just mess this guy up, especially in the back. Look at that uh, spinal column right there. Pretty icky. The paint on this guy is done really well, I have to say. And then we got his hand and arm and whatnot. The elbow joint sticks out a little bit, but not too bad. I was not intending for a Jesus pose, but there it is. Then we got those feet, those ugly looking feet. But uh, they look really good, you know, credit. And then you got the knees all dirty and grungy. And then you got the loincloth right there just hanging over him like so. Nice sculpted piece made of a softer rubber. And then of course we got Gollum's lower rib cage and butt area. Now as for the translucent figure, this is a little harder to cipher through, but we're gonna try it. There's the head. I'm not going to say it looks like the actor because it's too hard to tell on translucent. But there is a face there, so there you go. And then moving on from there, we have the body. As you can see, there's a cloth type outfit sculpted in and whatnot. And it looks pretty good from what we can tell. And then, of course, we got the arms. And uh, just something to point out real quick. That jacket is removable. I was able to take it off. And then going down from there, we have the short sword sheath, if, excuse me, with the sword in place. And then we got his pants down to his knees. Got translucent, ugly looking feet, but they fit the character 100%, so I'm okay with that. And then going up to the pants once again, so you can see what's going on there. 
all in all, pretty cool. You know, I definitely dig it, but I think Golem's the highlight here. Anyways, here's a quick size roundup. You got Super 7, DC Collectibles, McFarlane, NECA, Storm Collectibles, Mezco, Mafex, and then McFarlane Clown, because he was smaller. I figured it would be kind of appropriate for this review. Uh, they scale in, I believe, for what they're supposed to be. Maybe a little short, but not 100%. But then when you throw these guys together with these other guys, they all look fantastic. Uh, you see there are some size differences. Somebody in the comments can let me know whether or not this is accurate or whatnot. But definitely cool looking. I mean, I'm all aboard. I'm digging this. And then let's talk accessories for these two. You got a boat, which you've seen already. You get head, swords, hands, uh, fish head. Then you get a ring hand, which looks pretty cool. This is sculpted really nice. The fish is sculpted and painted really nice. He holds it really with no issue. And then he's got these two open hands, jazz hands. And then, of course, we have the sword here. Looking very nice and translucent. Really no issues at all with that. And then we get the alternate head which looks pretty cool and creepy and then we get the boat and the boat is one of the highlights for me and here's why like he can sit in the boat but i was bound and determined to get this guy floating down the creek by where i live so let's go to that footage now as you can see you drop him in he floats he doesn't sink but then i have to chase him because i don't want him lost to the creek especially as nightfall fell in pretty cool i definitely dug this a lot and the last accessory before i forget would be this clear display stand for frodo so there is that overall i had a blast today on my day off taking pictures of this guy to get this review ready and out as fast as i could because it's really cool the translucent figure it is what it is i i don't know how much i'm going to use it but it's still nicely done there's nothing for me to really complain about there. Gollum, on the other hand, he is just a blast. It's This is my first time messing around with Gollum figure. I know there's been others in the past, but this is my first encounter. So I definitely dig this guy a lot. I had a lot of fun taking pictures of the two. Uh, it was just something different and fun. I got to go outside and do fun things and do wacky and zany things, but... Overall, it was a joyous occasion. If you can get your hands on this two-pack, I would say pick it up. I think Diamond Select's been doing really awesome with these Lord of the Rings figures. And I definitely dig them. And I'm a casual Lord of the Rings fan at best. So, thank you so much for watching. Head over to Comic Crusaders for other fun. Thank you again. And until we see each other again, great googly moogly.